I have no flipping clue if this is going to work. It should work, eh? Because it's daytime and, and whatnot. I don't think it's going to be too, too bad. But anyways, I'm just out here reading. It's absolutely flipping gorgeous. And in the afternoon, I got uh, Wicked Sun. And, uh, well, speaking of Wicked Sun, I just finished reading a bit of the chronology for the week. And um, I started getting back... Well, I wanted to read some more Sun Tzu. I actually made it past Chapter 5, for God's sakes, believe it or not. Still haven't finished writing it out, but... Um, this one started getting captivating. I will start, actually, I, I should um, mention this first. Um, remember I was saying that uh, every day I do a random thingamabob. Today's was number 33. And it says, if you wait by the river long enough, the bodies of your enemies will float by. And I'm like, what the? I'm sorry, man, but I'm like, I was thinking even this morning, I'm like, I got to go and maybe do a video and hope to God someone understands what the hell he's saying. Because I'm like... What, I still don't understand that really. Did, what does that mean exactly? I don't know. Does that mean be patient? I don't know. But maybe it has something to do with this. This guy's a flipping genius. I don't care what anybody... But this guy's a flipping genius, man. Sorry, I'm reading this out because it's... He, the guy's amazing. Hope you can see it too. Chapter 6. Weak points and strong points. And I'll tell you one thing. I wish I had read this before I had done the flipping Russian turns. Or at least the last bit with uh, Nikolai Protopopov in the Second Army. I feel like a dick now, man. Anyways, it's too late now. And now here I am reading it for the Germans who already are on the upswing with Operation Luther and so on. Oh, God almighty. Anyways, Master Sun said, Generally, he who first occupies the field of battle to await the enemy will be rested. And I'm starting to think, is that is that what he means by waiting like along the river? He who comes later and hastens into battle will be weary. Thus, the expert in battle moves the enemy and is not moved by him. Getting the enemy to come of his own accord is a matter of making things easy for him. Stopping him from coming is a matter of obstructing him. Thus, being able to wear down a well-rested enemy, to starve one that is well-provisioned, and to move one that is settled, lies in going by way of places where the enemy must hasten in defense. To march a thousand li... Uh, do you remember that? I was asking um, in uh, one of my posts and um, Meandering Mike and uh, Ken Tan, Ken X, um, uh, uh, told me what a thousand li is. It's a measurement of, a dis I can't remember the distance, what it is anymore. But anyways, without becoming weary is because one marches through territory where there is no enemy presence. To attack with the confidence of taking one's objective is because one attacks what the enemy does not defend. And I've never been confident. To def with these attacks, man. To defend with the confidence of keeping one's charge secure is because one defends where the enemy will not attack. Thus, against the expert in the attack, the enemy does not know where to defend. And against the expert in defense, the enemy does not know where to strike. Holy F. Anyways, that's it. I, I'm just uh, going to write a bit of this uh, out here and just enjoy this amazing, amazing weather. Hope you're having a great time.